Listen, play B flat seven bebop scale over D half diminished. It's a winner. It's brilliant and it's really simple. Check it out. Okay, what are the notes in D half diminished? D, F, A flat, and C. If you put a B flat underneath that, you basically got B flat seven. You've got B flat nine, haven't you? So B flat seven. All that stuff that we've been working on on the bebop scales, check out the other videos if you don't know what I'm on about. We can now put that on this half diminished, D half diminished. Now then what I would do is I would resolve it. D half diminished is highly likely to want to go to G7 flat nine, if you like, that's what we've been talking about, which wants to resolve to C minor. When we hit these um, chord tones at the end, I'll show you now, um, let's just use that diminished arpeggio to go up to resolvers to C minor. Let me give you an example. So I'm going to the B natural there, which is G7, it's the third of G7. Which resolved to C minor. I'll do a masterclass uh, longer on YouTube. The sheet music is on my Patreon. Check it out. Okay, so I can go a bit slower now. Um, we have been talking about what scales we can play over D half diminished, which is more or less the two chord in a minor key, right? A D half diminished, half diminished. It's more often, these are the rules, we break them later, right? Uh, it's a two chord in a minor key. Two, going to five, which is G7, going to one. Check out my other masterclass if, um, if I've already lost you. Uh, it's all there, working through it. Okay, listen, so, we've said before that we can play C harmonic minor over the whole of that. D half diminished, G7 flat nine, C minor, major seven, we can play C harmonic minor over all of that. Now I'm giving you another option that basically over that D half diminished, we can play E flat major scale, E flat major scale. So think about it up a half step, up a semitone, uh, major scale because D half diminished is the seventh chord in a major scale, isn't it? It's the seventh chord in a major scale. Now this is how I want you to think about it. Rather than thinking about it from D, think about it as if it's B flat over D. B flat over D, it sounds like this. B flat seven wants to resolve to E flat because B flat is the five chord going to one, which in this case would be the E flat, okay? So we're sort of, it's still D half diminished, but we're just thinking about it in a slightly different way. But what that means is that all the work that we've been doing on B flat seven bebop scale, suddenly we've got all that down. We can now put it over D half diminished, which I love stuff like that. <laughs> I, I love doing the work and then someone coming along and saying, oh, you know all that stuff that you've been playing? You can play that over that chord. You can play that over that chord. You can play that over that chord. <laughs> okay, so I love this. So D half diminished, we're gonna play the B flat seven bebop scale. If we start on any of the chord tones, we're always going to be hitting D half diminished. And in this case, we're going to be hitting it with a B flat in there. So if we start on the root descending, like I showed you in the uh, example at the start. Yeah, and then we came down to the seventh, if you like. I'm thinking of it as B flat seven, the dominant seven, which is A flat. The fifth and the third. Yeah, the third of B flat obviously is the root of D half diminished. It's however you want to think about it. Now then, that sounds great. And you can rattle up and down that ascending, descending over D half diminished till the cows come home. It's absolutely, it's a winner. All we have to do now though is when we get to the G7, we need to start thinking about uh, altering. And what, what scale can we play over G7 flat nine? What scale can we play over G7 flat nine? C harmonic minor. Okay, C harmonic minor. 
as we've just said, D off diminished, G7, C minor, we can play C harmonic minor over all of it. A really beautiful shape using that harmonic minor scale, using that C harmonic minor scale, uh, and again I've done a video on this, is this D um, diminished arpeggio. So hopefully it's all in your classical study books. Sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, and as we know with diminished, it's built up on minor thirds, so I'm just going up in minor thirds. I can start that on any note, and hopefully you should be able to get right from the bottom of your horn, right up to the top of your horn, up and down that arpeggio, so practice that. That's a great shape that fits over G7 flat 9. <laughs> Right, practice all of that stuff. As many patterns as you've got, the better, the better. Okay, that shape wants to resolve to C minor. So we've talked about the D half diminished, we're gonna play B flat seven bebop scale over that. Over the G seven, the five chord, we're gonna play that arpeggio, that diminished arpeggio, and then that wants to resolve to C minor. So let's check this out. We're sort of doing it methodically now, aren't we? We're sort of thinking it through technically. If I am on, uh, if I land on the B natural, that wants to resolve up to C. Yeah? If I land on the D, that wants to resolve up to E flat. Yeah? These are sort of rules. Obviously, they can resolve wherever you want them to resolve, but this is a nice rule. If you land on the B natural, it goes up. If you land on the D natural, it goes up to E flat. If you land on the F, you have, you've got some choices. You can go up to the root or down uh, uh, up to the fifth, excuse me, up to the fifth, or down to the minor third. Let's go, uh, let's make a rule, let's go up to the fifth, let's go up to the fifth. We break the rules later, let's make a rule. And then what's the final one? And then the final one is the A flat, which is the flat nine, which wants to resolve down. Okay. I'm hoping this isn't going to make sense to you. This is making sense to you. I'm going to do all the sheet music on my Patreon. So go to my Patreon. There's tons and tons of stuff there. And also, if you want an individual lesson, we, I do Zoom lessons all over the world all the time. So um, just grab a Zoom lesson and uh, we'll hook it up. So on my B, on my D off diminished, I'm going to play B flat seven uh, bebop scale. I'll do it root coming down. <laughs> I've gone to the B natural, because I'm now into G7. I'll use the uh, arpeggio. I've landed on D, and I want to resolve. Where does D resolve to? It's up, E flat. Yeah? I'm on the flat nine. Where does that want to resolve to? Yeah, that one wants to go down. I'm on the F, wants to resolve. It could go there, or it could go there. And we said we'll make the rule, we'll go up. Yeah, uh, have I done them all? Uh, uh, D. to go up to E flat. D wants to go up to E flat. That is hours of fun. Hopefully I'm not making it sound too complicated. Again, when it's written down, it'll look a lot simpler, but check it out, check it out, so that you can now start blowing B flat seven uh, bebop scale over D half diminished. When we get to the G seven, use that arpeggio, use that diminished arpeggio, simply because it's a great shape that is really nice to resolve 
into C minor. Um, and, and yeah, start on different notes as well. Start on different notes of the bebop scale. I would do it that speed. I would go even slower. I would go even slower than that. I'm sort of rushing through for you so it's not a long video. Um, give your brain time to think. B flat seven, down, yeah. Resolve into the G seven. Use that triad. Use that triad. It's not a triad, is it? There's four notes. Uh, the diminished arpeggio. Say it correctly, Barnaby. Say it correctly. Use that and then resolve to C minor. Do it really slowly. You are teaching your brain to hear these things. You are teaching your brain to understand these things. Um, and then speed it up. Then add the swing. Then do your tongue-ins. Then do your, all this sort of stuff. All this other good stuff. Um, start there. And then, yeah, guess what you have to do? <laughs> Transpose it in every key. Transpose it in every key. So, for instance, um, what I would do, pick a, pick a standard that's got um, uh, a standard that's got loads of uh, minor two fives in it. So uh, what's some go, what is this thing called love is a good one. Uh, Stella by Starlight at the end. Stella by Starlight. Put that on your uh, play along really slow and start transposing it down. Um, good luck. Let me know how you get on uh, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Cheers.